Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a nice, simple main menu in Unity using C Sharp. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial I have on my channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So, a main menu is actually a lot simpler than people would uh, assume, and you don't necessarily have to do it one way or the other. You can have a completely blank scene and just have your main menu options, or you could have an entire scene again with the main menu options on there it's, it's entirely up to you i think it's all dependent on the style of game you want to create so i'm using a pack that i actually have from the asset store just for scenes but nothing else here and it is actually known as flooded grounds and i actually quite like this pack it's uh, currently free on the asset store so if you fancy it check it out have a look so i have two scenes here this first scene is going to act as our main menu and the second scene, which is known as scene A, is going to be the scene we'll go to if we press uh, like play game or whatever. So we're going to create a main menu in C-sharp with a couple of different options. And again, it's up to you to what length you want to go to creation. Because as I said, you could have play game. Uh, we'll probably put credits in there, but it won't actually link to anything, but you use the same sort of thing. Uh, you could have like achievements or trophies, you could have options, all kinds of different things. So the key thing to keep in mind is we need to have these in our scene build. So if we go to File and go to Build Settings right here, we'll need to uh, add in whatever scene this is for our main menu. Uh, we do have uh, the sample scene there, which is by default in Unity, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to click Add Open Scenes, and that is known as Scene Zero. So our main menu is currently going to be known as Scene Zero. If we go to the second scene, we just need to do the same again. Uh, just remember, keep in mind that whatever number this is, we need to remember when we create the script. So Build Settings, Add Open Scenes, and that will be for whatever we play game. So back to our main menu, and let's create it. So I'm going to quickly just add in uh, some UI text at the top, which is, I don't know, Jimmy's game, I guess. So you'd have your title, whatever your game's called, somewhere on your scene. Not necessarily at the top, it could be literally anywhere, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to double click on that text to kind of zoom out, and I think I'm going to turn off my post processing uh, just so I can see things a little better in my scene view. Uh, let's just extend this a little bit so we can see it. So Jimmy's game, there we go. So let's have some menu options and they're going to be done using buttons. So game object, UI, and let's have button. Uh, oh, by the way, all this is just a camera looking at the scene. There's nothing else here, just a bit of processing on the camera. That's it, just a normal bog standard camera. Uh, so this button, uh, you can customize the button in whatever way you like. Uh, I'm going to have the text on it called play game. Uh, I'm going to have the button a lot larger than what it is here. So let's increase the font size to 40. Let's have it as white. Uh, let's increase the button size to be much larger. And I think normal color, I'm going to have the alpha set as zero, I guess. Again, it's all down to customization about how you want your game to appear, how you want it to look. I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of different options here. So highlight a color, for example, let's have this as maybe an orange-ish color, brown, orange, whatever. Um, I'm going to move my button over here, so play game. Uh, let's F2 and rename, play button. Hold control, press D, and let's duplicate that. The reason we duplicate is because it makes it a lot easier in the long run. Uh, let's call this credit button I guess and let's move it down to maybe there uh, again it's all about placement wherever you want it to be credits and let's have another button um, so we'll have this one is a little bit different it's gonna be the quit game button so we'll call it quit button and yeah let's just have the text say quit game okay so that's a basic main menu we have set up here uh, obviously you can go to different lengths with your buttons you can have effects all kinds of different things but i'm showing you the basics of the mechanics in a main menu so we need to create a new script so right click create c sharp script menu control and then let's open this up in visual studio 
So while this opens up, I'll quickly explain uh, a couple of things that we're going to have to use within this script. So usually a script can just be created and it can just be nice and simple. You can do whatever, uh, like for your, you've got void start or whatever, but this one we need to do slightly differently. Uh, if anybody remembers the old JavaScript or Unity script that we used to use uh, within Unity, uh, it's not quite the same. So I used to have an old tutorial um, doing a main menu, but that was in the Unity script and safe to say that that probably no longer works. So this is why I'm doing the updated version. Um, so going back to this as well, there is no limit to how many buttons you can actually have here. You can have as many buttons as you want. In fact, if you even wanted to, you could even have little buttons down here with the Facebook icon or YouTube icon, which would link you to your Facebook and uh, YouTube accounts or whatever. All you need to do is just create a URL link uh, for the button. Now you could have different things on the menu as well. You could have an actual image for your game logo rather than just text, what I've got. And um, once again, I think the main thing to remember is that you can have any scene as the main menu, literally any scene. Uh, one final thing to note before we actually uh, code while we're still waiting for this to open is that this is automatically going to work on mobile devices. These buttons are already programmed to be touchable, so they will work as intended. If you bring it onto, let's say, an Android device, you'll be able to just tap these as they are. You don't need any extra programming. So to create the script, firstly, what we need to do is at the top, we need to enter a namespace and we'll have using unity engine dot scene management why do we use this well we need to reference the scene management or rather scene manager to be able to take us to another scene i.e when press uh, play we need to be able to go to that other scene now we don't need to declare any variables at this time because well there's no point really so we can get rid of void start void update and let's start with the first one so the first button was the start button so we'll start with public void and we'll have button start open close bracket open curly bracket uh, within here we just need that one line of code to take us to the other scene which will be scene manager dot load scene and in brackets one so that number is whatever scene your first scene is for your game so let's say you've got a bit of an introduction scene or whatever. That scene would be where you go first, as long as you link all your scenes together. But if you're doing that anyway, you should know how to use scene management. But I think what a lot of people don't get when creating buttons, uh, specifically in the main menu, is this word public right here before we actually state void whatever. Because uh, that can throw people out. If you don't use the word public, it won't appear uh, on your button, so you won't be able to assign it. Um, so next we have the credits button, so public void, um, I'll just have button credit, open close bracket, open curly bracket. Now obviously we don't have any other scenes, so we'll just imagine that we have another scene, which is the credits. Uh, so again, it's scene manager dot load scene and whatever scene that would be. Uh, finally, uh, we have that quit button. Now this is a little different the line of code here, but we still have to use public void and we'll have button quit open close bracket open curly bracket and the line of code which allows us to quit the game is application dot quit open close bracket semicolon and save the script so creating a main menu script is a lot easier as you can see it's just a couple of lines of code i think the main thing is designing a main menu to look kind of cool so with that in mind, again, what we need to do is attach that script to our scene. So game object, create empty. It doesn't necessarily have to be an empty object. It could already be attached to any object, but you just need to make sure that this script is attached in the scene somewhere. So then you have to apply that to the buttons. So play button, go on the plus down here, and then drag and drop that game object with the script attached into here. Click no function. Then click the name of your script, in this case a menu control, and then whatever the uh, method is. In this case, button start, which is play game. Same again for the credit. Drag over, no function, menu control, and button credit. 
And finally, that quit button. Yep, same again. Click the plus, drag and drop, no function, menu control, and then the button function. So I'm going to save my scene, just to make sure everything's all good here. And then I am going to press play and try out the menu. So you can see here, it's you know, the lighting's a bit off here, but it, it's irrelevant at this point. So you can see here, there we go. We have the options right here. And this is all about where you customize your buttons to make it fit in with the game itself. Um, if we click credits, obviously that won't do anything. You can see down here we have an error because there's no scene two. So if you did have one, that would work at this point. Uh, Quick Game also won't work inside the engine. However, if you build your game, Quick Game will actually work at that point because it's trying to quit the application, not the engine as such. So it would be a bit silly to have that quit button close the engine, but that button will work. Uh, so the last one is Play Game. So if we click Play Game, that will obviously take us to that scene. It'll be a little bit slow because I think the scene is quite large. But I must reiterate that it's actually a really good scene. So there we go. And there we are in our game. And that is how you create a main menu in C Sharp. So guys, I hope that's helped you to some degree. Um, I think that was a little bit more in depth than one of the older videos I had with the old Unity script. Uh, but if you want to know any more, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you. If not, there's plenty of people out there with a lot of Unity knowledge and they'll be able to help. Uh, so yeah, guys, don't forget to check out my channel. There's loads for you to learn. Absolutely loads. There's hundreds upon hundreds of videos, tutorials for you to learn. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you around.